Here's how fucked up my town was. I remember in 1980, when cell phones first came out, I'm like 10 years old, and I'm having breakfast at a friend's house. His mom is making us breakfast. And out of nowhere, and apropos of nothing we'd been talking about, his mom turns around and says, if you guys ever get a cell phone and you're in a black or Hispanic neighborhood, don't use it because they'll know you're rich and they'll kill you. <laughs> and then went back to making us breakfast. I helped those kids out. I had, I'm full of wisdom. You know, like there's a, when you're growing up, up to a certain point, no matter what an adult says, it's just gospel. You know, it just, well, an adult said it, it must be true. And then there's that first thing where you go, I think that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> that was my first thing. That was the first time I can clearly remember going, they don't kill you for your fucking cell phones. <laughs> and by the way, this was 1980. Return of the Jedi was yet to come out. So for three more years, I thought Chewbacca was real. So there was a three year period where I was like, two things I know for sure. Chewbacca's real and black people don't kill you for your cell phone. That's the two things I've learned in my time on this planet. Although now I live in Los Angeles and I have a cell phone and whenever I'm in a black or Hispanic neighborhood, it stops working. Like, is that a sprint feature I miss? The misinformed racist mom call drop feature where you're talking to your friend, the phone's like, Mexicans, beep! Oh, God damn it. What the fuck? <laughs>